Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday in FIFA 22. We know we're getting upgrade packs today, but we have a different conversation to talk about because after yesterday's content and even just thinking about it a little bit in general, this Shapeshifters promo has gone on for too long and we need footies. So I want to talk about that a little bit in today's video. Since we don't have any more leaks on footies, we just need it to drop because four, four weeks for our promo is actually really long and it's feeling... A little bit boring now. It's getting a bit repetitive, but since it's Mondays, you know what's going to happen today. Upgrade packs of some sort are going to drop on the game. I do think we might have an idea of what player pick SBC would be dropping. Last week, we had the 81 plus. I think this week we might step it up one notch and get the 82 plus like we did in the second week of Shapeshifters as EA oftentimes do follow a same schedule and a pattern. So we'll talk about that. And of course, what other content we could get today. There's a pack that was added to the code last week. We have still not seen it yet. And maybe today they would drop it either in objectives or as an SBC throughout the week. It could not, it could be today, could be later on, but I want to draw some attention to that pack because it's a pretty awesome pack. It's a pretty legit pack. So we will see if that drops today, but we'll talk about that potential, of course, and look at the market still. We talked about in yesterday's video about some prices continuing to drop. And with the content yesterday, we did see a decent amount of cards continue to fall on the market out of packs, cards, in packs, cards, the like. As you guys remember seeing Di Natale, I sold him for 3 million coins on Saturday. He is now 2.2 mil. A Betty Pele was like 1.7. He's now 1.3. So a lot of these card prices are down. There could be a few fluctuations today after weekend league rewards, but really, I think it might stay pretty stagnant or slowly falling prices until we get those footies leaks later on this week. So we're going to talk about that all and more in today's video. If you're enjoying the videos, of course, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. But let's just talk about that conversation we started at the very beginning about needing footies. Because if you guys think about this, when have we ever had a promo? And I mean, we have had promos that have gone kind of this long before. Usually footies is a really long promo, like the summer promos end up being a little bit longer. But a Shapeshifters promo that has now gone on for four weeks, basically a whole entire month, as we have Shapeshifters Team 4 in packs, it's really starting to feel repetitive. And what doesn't help is that EA Sports dropped the exact same Icon Moments SBC yesterday that we have had for the past three weeks now with the 92 plus moments. And they didn't even drop it like repeatable with no limit. They dropped it repeatable three times. So three weeks ago, we could do it once. Last week, we could do it twice. This week we can do it three times, but it's still not like a legit repeatable icon player pick because you can't do it any more than three times, which at this stage of the game, I mean, unless you have a ton of coins and you really just want to have fun and gamble and try to get an insane icon for this price, this SBC is just, it's not it. It's the same price they released it at last week, which I believe according to Footbin right now is about 500,000 coins. This might be one of the lowest like thumbs up percentage ratios on an SBC that I've seen in a long time. 7% for a 92 plus moments player pick. People just know that yes, it's fun to do moments player picks, but this is just bad value because A, the price did not go down and B, icons at this stage of the game, they're just not it compared to all the shapeshifter cards that we are getting. Now, I'm not here complaining that shapeshifters is a terrible promo because it is absolutely not. I mean, take a look at these cards that we are getting each and every week. We're getting really fun cards, great foot items that people want to try out, put in their teams, and at least open up grade packs for. You know, the hero shapeshifters are a great part of this promo as well. So there are some positives. The SBCs have been pretty decent, but I just think what we're really fighting right now in this game is a little bit of boredom and a little bit of what people just call dead FIFA vibes because A, it's July and B, I mean, this promo has gone on for four weeks now. We haven't had any sort of like refresh in terms of what EA is doing with the cards and the basis behind them. Again, like I said, it's been a great month now of great SBCs and a lot of players that have been dropped with some really cool position changes and stat boost. And a lot of people have shapeshifter cards in their teams now, but... We're just ready for something new. And that's why I'm looking forward to the end of this week, most of all, because I'm ready for footies. Bring me the pink cards, right? We got a little bit of pink outline on these hero shapeshifters, but just drop me a uh, really good looking footies design and give me some SBCs and objectives. And, you know, footies is always a fan favorite promo. And did that just bring some hype in its own in its own right? Is just having a fan favorite promo that everybody has high expectations for because EA literally always delivers a good shapeshifters promo, or sorry, footies promo 
we're just ready for it. So I feel like that's kind of the vibe on the menus right now is a lot of people are just kind of not wanting to play FIFA that much at the moment because the content is just not that great. You get on every day at 6 p.m., check the content, you're like, hmm, it's not that good. Well, today when you get on and check the content, hopefully we have a pretty good upgrade pack SBC, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. But let me know down in the comments what you're feeling about shapeshifters. If you think it's like, nah, Nate, it's dead. I'm not playing the game very much right now. The objectives have been decent, right? The shapeshifters cup is really cool. I love the cup plus objective here to get a shapeshifters player pack. That was a W. This was a W. Um, you know, the milestones, the, the swaps stuff, this is a W. Even though we have to play squad battles, like technically... This is not terrible. It's the, the fact that it's um, golden goal in these first two um, friendly modes is decent. Squad battle sucks. But, you know, having summer swaps here alongside of shapeshifters is helping a lot, I would I would say as well. Imagine last Friday having no summer swaps promo going on and just having that, that Friday content drop. It would have been really dead. So I do have to say that the summer swaps has been really nice too. But that's going to continue during footies. Uh, and it sounds like we might even have a second summer swaps, right? Every time we see like a number one, summer swaps one, we think that there could be a summer swaps too as well. It would maybe take us through October or not. I'm thinking way ahead now. August, take us through the month of August inside of footy. So we'll, you know, be looking forward to that. And hopefully we get some leaks, right? At least some information. I really think that footies might start as early as like Wednesday or Thursday of this week, but like legit in game. Think about, you know, I think it was maybe even shapeshifters where they started dropping the loading screen and they started telling us about the promo before it actually started. If we have a vote for a footies card, if they're going to drop that SBC on a Friday, then of course they're going to have to put that content out beforehand so that they can get the votes out there, the player pick for, some, for the votes. So we'll talk about that more on this week when we get more towards footies like legit starting, but let's talk about today on Monday because there's still some cool stuff that should be happening today. Of course, it's upgrade pack day and I have a little bit of a theory and it's not that crazy of a theory. Some of you guys might've guessed it as well. We had the 81 plus player pick during week one of Shapeshifters. We had the 82 plus player pick during week two. We went back to the 81 plus for week three. I think today EA love to repeat themselves. I think they're going to drop the 82 plus and kind of make it that 81, then 82, 81, then 82 cycle and complete that again. So hopefully today we have the 82 plus player pick, which is kind of nice because out of most of the shapeshifter squads, I feel like this team four of shapeshifters is better than team three. That's just my opinion. There's more of like the middle tier cards. There's a couple more really expensive cards as well, but I just feel like People would want to pack a center back Kyle Walker, Cordoba if you haven't already got him, Di Natale, Joe Cole for the interesting links that his card provides, Abedi Pele, Conte, and even for myself, Dempsey. Yesterday they dropped the uh, the Cahill card, the David Silva, both at least fun items, right? Cahill looks really, really insane. The work rates are probably the only problem as he's high medium, but uh, I mean, what a great card. As a CDM, as a box to box, I mean, shoot, you could even try to play him at center attacking mid if you boosted up the passing a little bit. Just a lot of options for this Cahill card. So that's a W in my opinion. And all of those, I think people would have a lot of enjoyment trying to pack. And at least there's still a decent amount of SBCs that are out at the moment. You've got Bale, you've got Royce, you got a lot of these end of an era cards that are still here and haven't even expired yet. You've got the Chris Wood SBC, which I have not completed. You had the really good value Ricardo Pereira that was dropped over the weekend. So there's a lot of crafting that can be done. Can't forget about Melito either for the player pick for him. A lot of crafting can be done right now. So an 82 plus upgrade pack will do well. Uh, for this week and it should be a nice upgrade pack to be able to grind now do remember that that one the past couple times it has been dropped the requirements have been the same and they have been i think it's 11 golds six rares so i don't believe that gold rares would go up that much but if you want to be ahead of the game and you want to start to stock up on a few of these just go out and, and catch them on bid for 650 coins you'll be able to win just about every card there i doubt that gold rares would really go up that much like for an investment with upgrade packs today probably not going up that much maybe a little bit uh but nothing super crazy there now the other thing that i want to talk about today on a monday is we always get gamble packs on a monday too right like we have been getting these 85 plus player picks the last couple of weeks on a Monday, and then we get to redo them, you know, certain times throughout the week. We had the 85 times five, I believe, last Monday as well. Is it a Monday or Tuesday? We had the 85 times five. I'm really curious to see if they drop the 85 times five again today. 
but there's one pack that's into the code and I, I really don't feel like this is going to be dropping today, but I feel like I want to talk about it because this has not been covered much and this is a really, really big pack. We've seen the Shapeshifter player pack already. That's the pack that's available in objectives from that uh, plus objective or whatever it is from the Shapeshifters friendly mode, win five games, get a guaranteed Shapeshifter player. There's also a hero shapeshifter pack, which guarantees one foot hero shapeshifter. And since we finally had the last foot hero shapeshifter dropped yesterday in Mr. Kim Tim Cahill, they can technically now drop this pack. And I think today on Monday could be a time where they could go ahead and do that. I almost feel like this might not be an SBC though. A lot of these packs recently, they have been dropping in objectives. And speaking of objectives, this is another part of Monday content that we have to think about today is we have a lot of objectives expiring. So if you are a little behind on maybe your squad battles grind for summer tokens, summer swap tokens, the milestone summer swaps one is going away today. Now I've completed them all, but you know, you've got air Divisie, EFL, Premier League, League One. If you haven't got any of these done or you're like halfway through, make sure you get these done before content because I do believe that all of these are expiring today. This huge chunk of eight tokens is going away and it would be the third week in a row today if they decided to drop eight more tokens which i think they probably need to because summer swaps goes until like what july 22nd or 20 something so we have like a week and a half or like 10 to 13 10, 10 to 11 days left of the summer swaps number one so i feel like today as we take a look at the token tracker from criminal fifa on twitter i feel like today might be another day where all of these eight tokens are going away up here, um, right here at the top, and we might get eight more today. That's kind of been how they've been keeping up with uh, the schedule of the summer swap tokens is they drop like one every day or one every other day, and then on Mondays, they drop like eight of them. So maybe today we'll get another objective with eight more, maybe summer swaps three, and just maybe for the completion of all of those, we'll, we will get a foot hero shapeshifter player. That would be pretty dope. So just keep an eye out for this pack today. And of course, keep an eye out for some more objectives. Not really any way you can prepare for that unless it gets leaked. But again, these objectives have not been that difficult. So, you know, you just put in some bronze, silver cards, or they use top five leagues. They have not used the Bundesliga yet. If you take a look, we've had Premier League, League on. We have not seen Bundesliga from a top five league perspective in the friendly. So maybe something Bundesliga related is going to be dropping today. Uh, it's, if it's objective based, I could see that happening. So related to Monday content, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Some new tokens in the objective since we've seen that the past couple weeks. Of course, the 82 plus player pick, if they do the 81 plus, then that would suck. But you know, it is what it is. It just some sort of player pick today. I'm just kind of assuming it'll be the 82 plus. And then, you know, maybe the 85 times five returns, which personally, I'm very tempted to open at least one or two of the 85 times fives. I didn't open them last week. You know, I really would love to pack at Clint Dempsey. I would really enjoy packing, of course, you know, Conte, Di Natale, Kyle Walker, Abedi Pelé. I got all the ones that I did from last week still sitting here as I've kind of decided that I'm saving, saving some of my higher tier packs for footies. Um, but I'm probably still going to open them. Maybe if they drop the 85 times five, maybe I'll open the ones they put out this week and then save a few of them for footies just because I know, and I've been talking about this for the past couple of days that just again, realize that right now there are what, 14 cards in packs when they drop the footies re-release the batches of cards and packs we're looking at like 50 to 100 special cards and packs which means your fodder packs like that look amazing so that's why i'm holding off and opening some of those but i think between the 85 times five or the 80 plus player pick i think that that would be my opinion as um 82 plus player pick the 85 plus player pick or the 85 five some sort of variation of those should be our content today uh, on a Monday. How much is Kyle Walker? 1.14. So speaking of the market, let's talk market and actually let's talk fodder part of the market first. Since yesterday's 92 plus moments SBC was such a downer for a lot of people and not very exciting. And you got, you know, people are just not really excited about the content on FIFA at the moment. A lot of your SBC fodder actually didn't go up yesterday. It actually went down. Take a look at the lower tier of cards. 83s are 1k and under. 84s are 3,000 coins flat. They're down like two or 300 coins a card, which is not very much in the grand scheme of things. So if you bought fodder yesterday, you're chilling, right? There's really, 
you're really chilling. You're only not chilling if you bought, oh my gosh, look at this crazy drop off. Harry Kane from 38K down to 32. Now that's really low. Daily graph, how low are we? 32K, that's really, really low. Honestly, that to me is getting really close to a club stock uh, for the higher tier. How much is Lewa? 49K, okay, that's down. De Bruyne, 40,000 coins. So some of this higher tier stuff is dropping, which makes sense a little bit. But uh, man, 31K for some of these golds, um, they must be doing like late night lightning rounds or something. Can I check this store really fast again? Because that that either is a combination of people is panic selling some fodder, people that are worried about um, previous special cards being re-released and dropping fodder prices on the high tier end, which could happen later on in the week. But you know, we still could have the potential of like a 93 plus tots slash shapeshifter pack dropping again. 32k for some of these cards that is that's really really cheap so if you want to do a club stock on the higher tier stuff 30 31 000 coins for a Harold Kane I will do that all day I, you haven't seen sub like 35k for these cards in multiple multiple weeks and even though we say that the icon moments player picks are not very good people still do them people still craft them with upgrade packs during the week so I'm gonna club stock a couple 90s here just a couple cards really, really fast. It's literally going to set me back 90,000 coins, and it's not that big of a deal. But if you want to go in a little bit bigger of an investment, feel free. But just be careful, I guess I would say, because I don't know what kind of content is going to make this stuff go up. Unless they make the hero shapeshifter like a SBC, that would be some content that I would think make the higher tier stuff on the market rise. But that's why I was really pointing out the low tier market yesterday, because an 85 times five pack, that's gonna make 83s and 84s go up and people always do those regardless. They're either gonna do it and open it now for shapeshifters or they're gonna do it and save it for footies. So that's why I like the 83s, 84s, 85s. That part of the market the most, a little bit more annoying because if you wanna make more profit, you have to buy more of them. Also spend more time selling all of them, but that's the fodder way. So if you got that time, you wanna make a few coins, Definitely look in that range. Or if you just want to stock the club and say, hey, Nate, I want to do SBCs this week. Stock the club, buy the cards. I think they're at a great price. 3K for those is really, really good. So that's kind of my aspect on the fodder market at the moment. It's still low because the content is not that great. Hopefully the switch flips this week and we get a little bit better content, but we will see because it's starting to feel really repetitive. Even if we get a 93 plus hot slash shapeshifter, like people love that SBC, right? But that would even feel a little bit repetitive since we have had that. I think it's, has it been the last three weeks that we have had that? At least two. I remember that having it for two weeks in a row now, but it might've been three. That we've had that SBC. So EA, just do something this week to mix it up. And that's where I hope that hero shapeshifter or just the regular shapeshifter guaranteed pack could come into play. You know, they dropped the year in review player pick a couple weeks ago. That's still an, an L in my opinion. So I'm not super excited if they did something like that, but Hopefully we get some like a couple more player SBCs would be nice. We have literally zero leaks at the moment, which is a little bit not worrisome, but just odd that we don't have any player leaks. Usually we get a player SBC or two on a Tuesday or like a, a Thursday of the promo. I think we got we got Marco Royce on Thursday of last week, right? So we have and he was leaked, I believe, last week on uh, I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. So at the moment we have zero leaks, but I would assume that one or two more SBC players would come out during the course of this next week on this game. So that's something I would keep an eye out for as well. Now let's talk market for a little bit because like we talked about in yesterday's video saying, hey guys, watch out. Some of these prices on the market are gonna be dropping on, on the meta side of things. We looked at El Sharawi and we looked at Neymar and it's actually kind of funny because I looked at both of these cards right before recording here and El Sharawi is like the same price. He's like 290, right? 280, 290. He's really just chilling there, hasn't moved. And Neymar is down so what i actually saw a lot of yesterday was the top tier market dropped more than the lower tier market neymar is now 2.97 after being 3.1 yesterday uh similar things happening with the high tier on the shapeshifter cards right the foot heroes abedi was 1.7 yesterday and right now i believe he's like 1.3 now i'm not going to say that these cards um, are going to like keep dying today. I think they could keep dropping a little bit, but also I think there's potential for some bounce backs on your really, really rare ones. Like the fact that Conte was 4.5 or something like that yesterday, and right now he's like 3.9. You might've just bounced back up off of rarity. Now he's still 3.9. I think he was a little bit lower than that for a second. But even a guy like Joe Cole, 
Like what a big drop off from Joe Cole yesterday. I was able to sell a couple of mine. You saw me buy like two on last night's video. I sold one and uh, was able to make some profit at sold, selling it at 377. And now this guy is 290. Like check out this Joe Cole card, man. He is, he is down really, really bad. So that's kind of interesting to see. He also is pretty rare still. So I'm going to keep an eye on this dude. You might have a couple of fluctuations today, really short term bounces up in price. Like actually Dean Natale would be one. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this guy's da down a mill from where I sold him at on Saturday. And I know I got slightly lucky with that sale, but the fact that this dude is now two point, is he like two mil, 2.15. If I see close to two mil flat for this card again, I'm probably picking it up and trying a few, trying him out for a few games because He's a really, really rare card. One of the most rare hero shapeshifters that we have. Only one page on the market right now. He's almost as rare as like Conte and Walker, right? Those are the really, really rare guys that are a part of this promo. Um, but back to the, the rest of the market for a second. I think that some cards will have a slight bounce back today. But like I said, it really most of your panic was on more of the expensive tier cards. But I think that's just because people know that what's coming with footies is going to be some pretty expensive SBCs, some really cheap ones. But also when these cards get re-released back into packs, their prices drop a ton. So that's where most of the panic selling is going to be continue to be seen throughout the rest of the week this week. Heroes from, you know, shapeshifters from Team 3. Sane is still chilling, maybe down like 10K. Uh, Ribery, 3.6. That's nothing crazy down. Gomez, 121 is actually up a little bit. Valverde, 750. So, again, some of your, like, lower tier cards haven't moved that much. Ramos is still up. Marcelo is down a little bit. Um, you know, Tierney, 130. Corona, 167. I think I looked at a tall, and he was still 200K. 195. Davies is 282. So, it's just kind of a little bit of everything, but I really think you're going to see the market get hit more in the middle tier range, the low tier range, like the 500k and less cards. Those are the ones that are going to drop in price more later on this week um, when we get like an official loading screen, right? Because casuals that don't follow the game as much, maybe on the leaks and stuff like that, there's still a lot of those people that are out there playing FIFA right now, but those are the people that are going to see a loading screen later on this week and then be like, oh my goodness, footies is coming. That's going to cause some some chaos and, and cause some movement on the market. So that's kind of what I would watch out for for the rest of this week is more of that chaos and, and panic, honestly, to happen. But that's why we're getting ahead of it earlier this weekend. And we talked about it in yesterday's video. And even on the stream on Friday, I remember mentioning like, hey, guys, there might be some opportunities to sell some cards here pretty soon just because we know what is upcoming. And that is a lot of hype for the footies promo. So we still have 16 million coins. Um, we are pretty liquid at the moment. I have a few random things in my transfer list, so it would probably all add up to about 16 mil. But I'm ready for upgrade packs today. I'm ready to spend some more packs. I really want to try to pack Clint Dempsey. That's going to be the guy I go for this week. Clint Dempsey would be great. Um, and then, of course, if we hit a Conte, we do have dupe theory on our side with Conte. If I were to get Conte and Marcelo and Messi in a span of like a week, I don't even that would be ridiculous and I think Twitter would just completely turn on me and everybody would hate to put account so <laughs> that's just jokes but the dupe theory is real recently on this account with pack luck with the messy in particular so um yeah I'm gonna open up great packs today and absolutely go for it but hopefully some of the content that we get throughout the rest of this week can just kind of push us through and pull us through into footies because this is the way we were feeling last week as well. We were just hanging on and waiting for footies and EA dragged this promo out another week. They did drop some nice cards, but they're dragging it out another week and it's got us just waiting and we're jonesing for footies is really what it feels like. We need the pink cards, EA Sports. So we're going to follow that side of the leaks and of the market and everything related to footies really, really close to this week, waiting very, very, not so patiently for some big time news about footies later on from, uh, you know, EA or leakers later on this week. So if you're excited for upgrade packs, though, it should be a fun Monday regardless. We'll be live streaming. Link down below in the description if you want to see us open upgrade packs today. Try to pack some of these shapeshifter cards and see what swap tokens they drop because also today might be the day for me. Depending on how many more tokens I can get done, it might be 95 plus uh, shapeshifters player pick time for me because I am knocking on the doorstep of 23 tokens. I think I'm two away. So two or three away. And then we'll have a big time player pick and that'll be a lot of fun. So check that link down below in the description. But if you did enjoy the video today, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, of course, as always. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.